So guys, this is a new series on my channel, which is what to expect, like if you come to what to expect of an airport. So I'm here in Belo Horizonte, just Comfins Airport, which is a bigger international airport. And uh, this is what you should expect of this. This is what you should expect of this airport. Let's go. Hi everybody, this time around my final destination wasn't the city of Belo Horizonte, the capital of Minas, but Ouro Preto, one of the world's most fascinating Portuguese cities. When I'm there it feels like I'm somewhere in southern Europe, but deep within Brazil, it's amazing. So to get to Ouro Preto, I had to fly to the city of Confins in the metropolitan area of Belo Horizonte. The airport has been privatized and is now called BH Airport. BH stands for Belo Horizonte, which is Brazil's third largest metropolitan area with over 6 million inhabitants. The airport is located 40 kilometers or 24.85 miles from the city center. So as soon as I left the plane, I could tell that the airport had been under an extensive renovation plan. The airport used to be administered by Brazilian state giant Infraero, who used to monopolize the market and who still owns 49% of the airport's current shares. Infraero had invested some money before the World Cup and the Olympics, but governments tend to be slow and corrupt, so the money invested didn't really make it to, you know, its final destination, if you know what I mean. So much so that the socialist parties were removed from office in Brazil and Dilma, the president then, was impeached in 2016. The airport was tendered by the end of 2013 to a consortium founded by Brazilian giant CCR, Zurich Airports and Munich Airports. Munich Airports left the deal in 2014 and the two remaining companies share the concession with Infraero. The brand new baggage carousels are state of the art, as you can tell. So the airport consists of two terminals or two main terminals. Uh, the newer terminal, which is obvious, and then this old term terminal that's been retrofitted. Um, the old terminal looks pretty good compared to what it used to look like, because it used to be total trash. It used to look like a bus station, a bad one actually. But now it looks pretty good. Pretty clean, a lot of places to eat. I'm really excited about this, really pleased. A lot of shops and uh, wide open, awesome. The previous administration wasn't that great and the airport size and quality wasn't befitting with a city the size and importance of Belo Horizonte, to be honest. Once you get here, make sure you take a taxi or Uber to the city center. As you know, Uber prices may vary according to the time of the day, but it will generally pay about 60 reais or 9.6 euros, 12 US dollars by Uber and between 90 and 150 reais or 14 to 24 euros between 17 and 28 US dollars by taxi and the ride will take you about 45 minutes or so. By bus, you're gonna have to pay 31 reais or 4.75 euros, 5.8 US dollars. For more information on the bus, check out the link in the description of this video. So the airport consists of two terminals linked to one another. It looks like a single terminal, guys. The difference is that one is old and has been improved and the other is brand new built by the BH Airport Consortium. The company invested about 870 million reais, which back then came down to 271 million euros or 322 million US dollars in total. The investments included the retrofit of the old terminal, the construction of Terminal 2, new and state-of-the-art baggage carousels such as the one we've seen, taxiway renovations, and the apron expansion, so on and so forth. So I decided to have a cup of coffee with milk and eat a Brazilian pastry called coxinha and pão de queijo or Brazilian cheese bread. All together, it cost me 24 reais, which comes down to 3.8 euros, 4.5 US dollars. Expensive for Brazilians, but cheap for most foreigners. It tasted good though. The coffee was really good and so was the food. The cheese bread was straight out of the oven, very tasty. This cafe is called Black Coffee and it's located in the old terminal at the shopping area located before you go through security. Let's go for a walk now, shall we? I like the part of the terminal accessible to travelers and non-travelers alike. You can sit, relax, check in, shop, it's pretty spacious. And once you go through security, it isn't really as nice, you know, in the old terminal, I mean. But it's really nice if you go to terminal 2. It's all linked anyway.
So this area is being renovated still. The airport has 27 elevators and some of them are still being replaced. It's nice to know the BH Airports is doing a really good job here. This airport has improved greatly in the past few years. So there are some cool shops here at the airport such as Melissa's which we've seen before and Javianas which is a local Brazilian company famous all over the world and many other brands. Let's go for a walk. So it's time we check out that famous stairway at the old terminal built in the Brazilian modernist style. Let's get to it. Looks good, I like this stairway. So check the view from here now. For a long time, Pampulha City Airport used to be the city's most important one. Due to problems in regards to heavy rain, which has flooded the airport in the past, as well as heavy fog, the government decided to build a new airport in the city of Confins, far away from Belo Horizonte city center, in an attempt to solve some of the old airport's main issues. A new airport had to be built and the construction started in 1980, but the old terminal partially opened in 1984. Now let's check out the check-in areas, shall we? Let's go. There are three check-in areas here, areas one, two and three obviously. Here at Check-in 2, there's a really good cafe called Balduku, which is Brazil's biggest panettone maker. I love panettone and they serve it here, so let me get out of here as soon as possible. Let's go, guys. So if you go up the escalators, you get to Check-in 3, which is where all international flights depart from. Check-in 3 consists of 20 check-in positions, 5 x-ray machines, security control and 10 passport control booths for all international flights, not to mention 3 jetways for international flights only. Let's get in now, it's time to check out the boarding areas, isn't it? Let's go! Once you go through security, you get to the airport's boarding area. When it comes to the old terminal, things have improved a lot, but I think that the administration could do a bit better, to be honest. I think that to make things more appropriate to this new chapter in the airport's history, the ceilings and the old seats should have been replaced by now. The stores and restrooms have been renovated, but this internal part should have been as nice as the terminal's outside area, where the shopping center is located. Just saying. After renovation works, the airport offers now to its users 26 jetways, most of them brand new. Here you'll find restaurants such as Vienna, Subway, Do Free, which is a duty-free shop, so on and so forth. Now, if you keep walking to your right, you'll end up going to Terminal 2, which is a lot nicer. At Terminal 2, the cafes and restaurants are a lot more modern and visually pleasing to the eye. Terminal 2 reminded me a lot of the South Korean airports I've seen, top notch. If you connect to an international flight here at BH Airport, you're gonna have to get from your exit gate to this place here and then go through passport control. You're gonna find this very place here, you guys. Pay attention, it's pretty easy though. Attention Zurich airports, wake up. It's time to get rid of the old ceiling and the old seats at Terminal 1 as soon as possible. What are you guys waiting for? This airport currently operates international flights for Azul, Copa Airlines, TAP, Air Portugal and Latam. Other companies, mainly from North America, used to fly here, but they haven't come back yet since the pandemic. So to me, Terminal 2 is really cool, it looks really, really good, the design, the decor, the variety of materials used, the colors, the whole thing looks really good, you guys. It's one of my favorite terminals in Brazil, 
but I think the old terminal should go the extra mile to be more like this one, okay? Just saying. Now it's time for me to board to Sao Paulo city where I live. Please watch my other videos, the other videos I've made about various Brazilian airports including Brasilia, Salvador, Maceió, Curitiba, so on and so forth. Please watch my travel guides, hotel reviews and super vlogs too. Countries like Japan, Namibia, Argentina, the USA and Turkey have been featured and there are many more to come. Also, check out my playlists for short versions of the super vlogs divided in chapters, okay? Well guys, thank you so much for staying with me all the way to the end of this video. Don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment, share and subscribe. See you in my other videos. Come visit the state of Minas here in Brazil, it's amazing. I love Ouro Preto and many other historic cities. Come to Minas, bye bye!